Welcome back to class everybody for another lesson today in Minecraft school. Today we have an epic lesson as promised all about dra dragons. Wait, hey, Steve, no. Steve, you're okay. late. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I'm late. I know I'm late. I was busy with my, uh, um, nothing actually. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna sit down. Okay, sorry guys. Okay, continue, continue. At the least you could do is have a good excuse. I mean, most people will make up a story like the dog ate their homework. Are you just yep. telling me no excuse, no nothing? The dragon ate my homework. The dragon ate your homework. Do you know what? We'll accept that one today because today, guys, we are learning all about dragons. This right here on the table is a night fury egg and we have a special class set up outside for all of you to go and learn about a lot of these dragons we're gonna learn how to tame them and fly them and we did see a few the previous day scuba steve but you weren't here for that so we've got some new ones outside to go and take a look at so i think we should waste no time and head on out the back to see these dragons follow me Okay class, welcome to the outdoors where we've got all of our dragons housed for today's lesson. If you take a look around, you're gonna see a lot of epic dragons in a lot of cool colors. Hold on. Where's Scuba Steve again? Oh, he's always so like, what hey! is going on up there? <laughs> Scuba Steve, land that Grunkle. Coming in hot. <laughs> Wait, we're not studying Grunkles today. Yeah, um, I know that, but I just got way too excited, and I just wanted to bring in my grunkle. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you were paying attention. You know what? That is actually a good thing, so you can sit up and help assist in today's lesson with dragons. Yes! Yeah! Right here. This is my seat. This is my seat. Nobody else. This is a pretty cool grunkle, by the way. I gotta say, I do love this color. Yeah, very unique. Uh, really nice, pretty blue eyes that uh, match my suit. Yeah, pretty blue eyes that match your suit. The rest of it, not so much, but, you know, it's a nice big pink dragon. And speaking of big pink dragons, we've got a monstrous nightmare on the back there who's looking really cool. And Scuba Steve, later on today, you might just be taming that. Ooh, really? And I get to keep it? Well, we gotta ask the school board about that one. But you're at least gonna learn how to tame a monstrous nightmare. Ooh, that is gonna be so sick. Okay, I cannot wait. Okay, I'll be quiet. I'll be quiet. Okay, class. So take a look around at the dragons that are here. If you could only have one dragon, which one would it be? Let's see. Freddy Fangirl. The Light Fury, I don't blame you, the three Light Fury over there are so amazing and they are some of the fastest, if not the fastest, out of all the dragons. Except Shadow, my Night Fury. The two-headed one, that Mr. Noob is the hideous Zippleback right over there, a pretty epic choice. But be careful with those, they can be dangerous. Uh, let's see, who else, who else? Ranger! The nightlight for sure. Oh, we haven't seen nightlights yet. We do have nightlights right down in the back there. They are also amazing choices. You can't really go wrong with any of these dragons. Scuba Steve, Shadow does not eat those. It's a chicken sammy. No, Shadow only likes fish. Come on, back to your seat and I'll teach you a thing or two about these dragons. Okay, okay, okay. I'll eat it. You clearly need more information if you think a night fury is going to eat a chicken sandwich. But it's a... Oh, okay, fair enough. Okay, okay. Teach me more. Teach me more. Okay, class. This is the baby pen. As you can see, we only have a few little baby dragons. But how epic are they? This is a hideous zippleback chilling out right here. As you can see, some of them are pretty big as babies, Scuba Steve. That's nearly big enough to ride already. There's no way. This thing right here is a baby. There's no way. Okay, this one right here, baby. Mm, maybe baby. No baby. No baby, this is definitely a baby and you will be able to tell when you get up close and personal to the monstrous nightmare over there, that is an adult. This is definitely a baby. And these are all of the eggs which will hatch the different types of dragons. Now, it's pretty simple to hatch an egg. You simply just put it down on the ground and be patient. Soon enough, it will hatch. And when it does, you need to tame your baby with the food it likes. Uh, patient? Mm, that's not really my game. And again, the only food I brought was some chicken sammies because me and my grunkle, that's what we like. So is there anyone here that would eat these? 
you know what? I think it's time you get in with the monstrous nightmare. You need to learn a lesson about how to treat these dragons. So follow me, Scuba Steve. Follow me, class. Scuba Steve is going to put on a showcase on how to tame a big dragon. Let's go do it. Scuba Steve, it was so good of you to volunteer. So we've set up a nice enclosure here for this big monstrous nightmare because if it goes off when you're taming it, it's going to be pretty dangerous in the skies. Are you ready for this? Uh, not re- Hey, I got a great idea. I think Peter should go. I mean, he's a superhero and all that stuff. Yeah, Peter should go. You think so? Yeah, 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 I think so. I'm not afraid. I just want my other classmates to have this uh, amazing opportunity that you've bestowed on me. <laughs> Uh, no, I think you have to do it, Scuba Steve. It's time to match the dragons. But don't worry, I'm going to teach you how to do it safely, okay? Come with me. You cannot wear armor. You cannot have weapons. It will sense if you're coming in aggressive. So, you need to make sure you drink your fire resistance potion. You need to make sure you have no armor, no weapons. And then, you can approach it and try to tame it, okay? Okay, okay. You, you, you had me going there for a minute. Good luck. <laughs> okay. You, got, you guys, yeah, you guys have hoses and stuff ready, right? Yeah, don't worry. We'll we, we'll be prepared. You got this. Okay, what do I do now? Do we just throw it at? It? No, no, you're gonna have to feed it. Don't be scared, Scuba Steve. You're gonna have to get close. It doesn't bite. Well, maybe it does. Well, it's gonna bite the food. Okay, here we go. You gotta get in close. All right. Eat the food. Oh, he's eating it. He's eating it. He's running away though. Do you have your stick with you? Eat more, eat more. I do have a stick. You need to see how far your taming is coming along when you use your stick. Whoa, okay. This is Whoa. pretty cool. Hey! It's okay. Oh, well. It's still yeah. okay. Oh, I'm doing such a bad job. I'm sorry, guys. No, you've got it. You've got it. This is what the glass dome is for. 80%, cool. only 20% to go, and the dragon will trust you. You might have to deal with a little bit more fire breath until then, but nothing you can't handle. That is so good. What are we at? We're at 96? One more, Scuba Steve! Yes! Hey, yes! Look at that! You have <laughs> tamed the monstrous nightmare! Alright, use your stick and see if you can command your dragon. Yes, you can! That is a tamed monstrous nightmare. How epic was that? That was so good and a lot less scarier than I thought it was going to be because you showed me the way. That is so amazing! Well done, class. It looks like you've all paired up with dragons for the race. I hope you've been getting on well. Let's see who's got what dragon. This is my Light Fury Lily. Oh, nice one, Kiki. Looks like you're getting on great already. Ooh, neighbor and noob. What are you doing with the hideous zipple back? We are teaming up. Yeah, two people twice as fast. I don't think that's how it works, but best of luck to you two anyway. Let's see, who else is around here? Ooh, some nice looking dragons. Sonic chatting to your dragon. We're going to be the fastest duo out there. Oh, well, good luck. That's definitely a fast looking team right there. Scuba Steve, how are you doing on your monstrous nightmare? I'm still a little bit afraid, but uh, yeah, it's good. I mean, it's going pretty good. It's huge. It's so big. It's definitely not the fastest in the air, but it's pretty intimidating up there. So Skip Steve, if you would like to come and grab yourself a saddle, you know well you're going to get kicked off your dragon. They don't like it if you sit on them for too long without a saddle. But once you've got a saddle on, you can stay on for good and you can fly high in the sky. So make sure you saddle up. Okay, okay, everybody, we're going to take some turns flying through the hoops. There's a small circuit around the school, nothing too crazy. Want to see how everybody gets on with their dragons. So let's go and fly. Amazing flight, Sky. How did you feel? I was scared at first, but then you trust your dragon and flying feels amazing. I know, right? It is so good and you get addicted to it. Once you're up there, you'll never want to come down. Scooter Steve, are you ready for your first flight on your monstrous nightmare? Yeah, it's pretty big, but I think I got this. Scuba Steve, because it's your very first flight on the Monstrous Nightmare, I'm gonna come up with Shadow just to keep a close eye on you. Shadow has some skills in catching you if you fall, so I'll try to keep close, but I'm sure you're gonna be fine. Yeah, I don't really plan on falling off. I mean, that's a long way down. 
All right, Scuba Steve, take it slow and let's go for your first ever flight on this monstrous nightmare. Oh, you're missing some of the rings, but that's okay. Yeah. You'll get used to it. I'm not good at flying. You got this, Scuba Steve. You're doing really, really good. Ouch. Okay, we're trying our best. We're trying our best. We're too fast. Get back here. Go. All right, okay. Scuba Steve. One more. Yay. Good job. Yes. All right, Scuba Steve. I think we should finish up with a little race between your Gronkle and I will choose a slower dragon than Shadow. Do you know what? I'll go get a Gronkle as well and we'll have a little Gronkle race. Ooh, it's a Gronkle off. All right, let's get ready and let's see who wins. Scuba Steve, this is it, the final race. Let's see who's got what it takes to win. You ready? You are the Gronkle expert, so this should be yours. But let's see what happens. Okay, but I'm not a great flyer. Okay, you ready? Okay, the simple rules. We're gonna do two laps. First one to cross this cyan colored ring twice wins. But you gotta hit all your rings. Are you ready, Scuba Steve? Let's do it. Three, two, one, race. Ooh, oh, you got off to a good start there, Scuba Steve. We're off and we're off. I'm gonna oh, try well. sneaking nice and low. Go, little Gronkle, go. All oh, these short wings. I'm not used to going this slow. Oh, oh you, okay. Pretty slow. Oh, I fell. Hold on. Oh, Scuba Steve, you missed oh, one. No, I missed no, one. You no. missed one. I can't oh, even this go is back. so tight. I'll let you. I'll let you away with it. Let's just keep racing. Oh, it's too close. Ouch! 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 I'm not a Gronkle expert. I'm telling you now, I am way more used to the Night Furies. How slow are these things? I told they're you, so I told you. They're so slow, but they're so much fun to fly as well. All right, we're coming up. Oh, oh! I nearly dropped. I nearly dropped. And we're coming up to the finish line. And boom. Oh, that was so close. But you hey, won. That was an epic little race, Scuba Steve. Good job. Well, class, I hope you had a good lesson today on dragons. Your homework for tomorrow will be to teach us all one thing about one of the dragons you wrote on today that we may not know. Scuba Steve, that would be a monstrous nightmare for you. Um, okay, I'll get thinking. All right, well, it's homework anyway, so you don't have to do it now. But guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll be back for another episode of Minecraft School very soon, and we will see you then. Bye, guys.